Hi guys, Bobby here from Peak Performance Academy and today's video I want to go through a warm-up sequence I do with all my clients and in the gym if you're training lower body. So anything lower body, that could be squats, deadlifts, anything like that, or you're starting a home workout um, that is lower body focused. So all you need is a band and a set of kettlebells just to start off. Okay guys, so the very first thing we're going to do is lateral slides. So we're going to pop that band. And again, you have a preference here. I like to put this because it's quite strong just above the knees. If you have a lighter band, you can go at the ankles and give a bit more transference into the glutes. So the reason we're using bands is the only reason we're using them is just to think about um, increasing blood flow in that area, lower extremities, um, especially into the glutes, one of our biggest stabilizing muscles in the hip. And that's what we want to, want to do is increase that blood flow there. So the first thing we're going to do is stand at just, at just a foot on position, I'm hip width apart, feet are straight and I'm really thinking about my toes. So really thinking about that position here, so I'm nice solid position, soft knee bend, and I'm thinking about stepping over something, so I'm pushing out, two, three. Okay, so ten to the right, and we're going to go ten to the left. So step, step, and as you can see, I'm not increasing or decreasing, I'm increasing the length of my stride here, but I'm not decreasing it as such here, where I'm coming right here with my knees together because there's no tension there. So I'm going to keep constant tension on that glute as I move left and right. The next thing we're going to do is what we call a monster walk or a lateral slide, uh, moving forward. So we're going to keep that nice neutral position, nice strong position. Step and step. Again, we're keeping that tension on the band. Step and step. So now laterally, we're starting to challenge the glutes. One, two. And again here now, we're going to go forward for 10 and we're going to go back for 10. So same thing, position locked in, hips on, step, step, step. Step, very, very important guys, keeping that tension all the time, thinking about your feet. See that nice square round position I have on my feet? This is really important. So, we've got that. The next one we're gonna jump down on the floor, and we're just gonna do some line clamshells. So that's simply going to be 90 degree position, pushing your heels together, push up, feel that glute here, and control. Push up, and control. Again, you're keeping that opposite knee to the ground, driving that into the floor, and get that contraction through your glute here, your glute medius and your glute max. Drive through, okay? So again, we go 10 each side, make it nice and simple. Opposite side, exactly the same. Pushing into the floor, driving in heels together, feeling that glute switch on here. Nice and controlled. So again, that's your band work done. I want you to go into what we call a 90-90 stretch now. So you're gonna be in this position. You're gonna drop down, and what we're looking at here is 90 degrees of external rotation. 90 degrees of internal rotation. So that's all we're doing with the hip. Rotate over and seeing where you finish up. If you're a little bit tight, this will be a little bit off. So you can really work on that. Control and rotate back into that 90-90 position again. So over and back, you're gonna work 90-90. Um, again, 10 to 12 reps on that one, guys. From there, we're gonna do a bit of a stretch. So this is what we call a pigeon stretch. So you wanna get a bench. You can also do this from the floor. Pop this up, I like to do it from a bench because you think that you get a little bit more off that bench, a little bit more depth into your stretch. So a 90 degree hip position here, body tall, coming down into your position. Now again, this depends on your mobility here. And then what I want you to do is just lean slightly over to the knee and back over to the heel. We're keeping that body down all the time. Nice and slow, feeling that glute switch on. Nice and controlled over and back and spinning about 30 seconds on each side there both left and right on that one. Now, so we've done some increasing blood flow in the glutes. We are now, we've, we've done some mobility work with our 90-90 um, stretch on the floor, internal external rotation, and then our pigeon stretch here. Now we need to train stability, really, really important, because if we're going to be going squatting or deadlifting, it's going to be, we have to train the stabilizers in our hip. So the one I would choose here straight away, guys, brilliant exercise, it's your single leg RDL walking forward. So. I do everything with bare feet because I want to really want to feel my feet. Three points of contact always with the foot. Think your big toe, your small toe, and your little toe. Um, sorry, big toe, small toe, and heel is what you want to think about. So you've got three points of contact there. As you step, connect on the floor with them three points of contact. You're going into hip extension, nice and controlled, feeling that hamstring, control, and then pushing through, glute is on, step. Get your position, round your feet, nice and stable through that position, coming down, control, and drive through. 
and stepping forward one more time, nice and controlled. Keeping that chest slightly elevated, think about sending that hip back at that stretch in the hamstring and drive through. A single leg walking RDL, fantastic exercise guys. What I would finish that sequence with then is just to get a bit of activation into the quads. I would go into a walking lunge and I would focus on quads here. So step, track that knee over that small toe, but again you're planting that foot. Coming down, so sitting that body weight over that knee, driving up, control, see we're working on stabilization here again, and stepping into our next lunge, control, tracking that knee over that small toe, drive up, and moving forward into our next position, down, control, and driving up. So really, really important, so remember what we're training here. Increasing blood flow, training mobility, moving to training stability, and then we're ready to start our squat sequence. This is a great warm up sequence, guys, for you for lower body training. Most important thing is when you're squatting, deadlifting, the really, really biggest thing you need to think about is you need to get under the bar and start squatting, do that pattern. But this is a great way just to increase the blood flow. Uh, work on your mobility and train stability before you add strength to it. So you see the sequence, mobility, stability and strength. And that's the way we need to think when we're going into training. We need to make sure we're mobile to get into the position, we need to make sure we're stable within the position and then we add strength on top of it, which is our very last sequence. So that's really important guys and that's the top process I want you to think about. It's training mobility first, be mobile to get to the position, be stable within them within that position and then you add strength on top of it which is if it comes to the squat you add your weight at the very end that's really important guys so very good lower body warm up sequence for you hopefully it helps and uh, try that next time you train